So we have talked about one of the very important features of immune system, immunological memory, which we have said that is exploited by doctors and scientists in giving us immunity against different diseases. The other very important feature of our immune system is tolerance, distinction between self and non-self. I have said that immune, our immune system is like an army ready to attack anything that invades our bodies. So if this army turns against ourselves, our own tissue, our own cells, it, it has a lot of destructive force. It's a major destructive force. It will be catastrophic for that host if they cannot control their immune system. It is not in line and it fails to recognize self. So let's look at how our immune system recognizes our own tissue. Adaptive immune system learns not to respond to self antigens. We will see the cellular basis of this. Immune system can recognize cells that are not self if they are transplanted. Anything which is transplanted between two individuals that is not the, if the two individuals are not identical twins, that tissue will be rejected by the host because our immune system is geared towards destroying anything that is foreign. Even if it is meant to help us, it will be destroyed. Our immune system learns not to respond to our own cells, our own proteins, and that happens very early on during embryogenesis. For example, if cells, foreign cells, cells are taken from a different type of mouse and are injected into an embryonic mouse, this mouse, this, our embryonic mouse, when it grows up, now it will be able to take grafts or tissue transplants from the donor mouse from which we took the cells when we were inoculating our embryonic mouse. So this process happens very early on during embryogenesis. Our immune system, it, it also matures and it is surveying our systems, our body cells, our proteins and those cells which recognize or react to our own proteins, those immune cells are destroyed. We will see that uh, later. But another point I would like to make is if we do a conversion experiment, if we remove a protein which is normally present in an individual or in an animal, if we remove that protein, our immune system will react to that protein if that is reintroduced into the system. So our immune system, basically, it is not that our immune system cannot react to our own tissue. It is that our immune system has made a choice that it is not going to react to anything that is self. We look at the cellular basis, but first let me show you this experiment. Here's a white mouse. At the time of birth, it received injection of cells from a brown mouse. At a later stage, a graft, skin graft from brown mouse was transplanted on this white mouse. And there was no immune rejection. It, this transplant was tolerated by this white mouse. Because since the cells from the brown mouse were present early on at embryonic stage or right after birth, our immune system recognized those cells as self cells. So any tissue from that particular mouse will be accepted by this white mouse now. The learning process, self-tolerance involves killing of self-reactive lymphocytes, which is referred to as clonal deletion. So if a lymphocyte, for example, if a B cell reacts to an antigen, a particular protein that is part of our body, that B cell will be destroyed. Or it will be functionally inactivated, B cell will no longer be functional and the function of B cell is to produce antibodies. So that is referred to as clonal energy or inactivation of that particular set of B cells or all the lineage of any lineage that is coming from that particular B cell. B cells, our lymphocytes get one chance and one chance only to modify the receptor or the ability to make a particular type of antibody. So if these cells, our lymphocytes, they are given a chance if they do not modify their B cell receptor or their antibody which is present 
on their surface they have to be clonally deleted or they can be suppressed those particular b cells will not be they will be suppressed by other type of uh, lymphocytes for example there are another type of t lymphocytes called t regulatory lymphocytes t regulatory cells these cells can secrete certain signaling molecules and make other cells functional or non functional here for example in scenario number 1 we have a we have a lymphocyte for example a b cell immature b cell who has just produced its igm molecule as you know initially when igm molecules are produced and they are embedded in the plasma membrane of the b cell and their antigen binding site is sticking out that domain is sticking out so these b cells if for example in case number 1 it recognizes our b cell receptor or igm molecule present on the surface of the b cell if it recognizes a self molecule it will be given a chance to edit its receptor which is basically an antibody our future antibody so if that receptor editing is successful the b cell will be allowed to move to the peripheral lymphoid organ another case for example scenario number 2 the b cell was unable to edit its receptor such b cells that cannot edit their b cell receptor or the even after the editing their b cell receptor they still recognize a self protein these b cells will be clonally deleted other b cells will move to the peripheral lymphoid organ the b cells for example even in the peripheral lymphoid organ will also go through this learning process only those b cells which are able which are unable to recognize self antigens or self proteins self molecules will allow it to survive other b cells will either go through clonal deletion or clonal inactivation as you can see in this case so here we have how our immune system is learning not to attack self molecules by a learning process we will also talk about this when we talk about t cells how t cells learn but here we are talking about the b cells so let's uh, continue with our discussion of immune tolerance of self there is also a special case in which our immune system has to learn not to attack developing fetus for example so how is it that mother mother's body the immune system in mother's body does not attack the fetus let's look at four different there are actually more reasons we can talk about but i'm just going to restrict myself to four for example the placenta it functions as immunological barrier between mother and fetus creating immunologically privileged site it uses mechanisms to avoid detection for example neurokinin b it's a type of a signaling molecule that can evade the immune detection for your information such this molecule is also used by certain parasitic nematodes or the worms the second strategy is lymphocytic suppressions there are cells our special cells that can suppress the immune system also they also become active in suppressing the immune system placental tropoblast cells do not express mhc class 1 molecules we haven't talked about mhc class 1 molecules but it is a type of molecule that plays a role in activation of certain type of t cells which can mount a response also there's a syncytion formation which deletes the intracellular spaces so immune cells cannot enter the fetus so here we just talked about some strategies mother's immune system goes through to protect the fetus however the important concept here is that our immune system learns very early on not to attack self molecules or self cells in order to preserve the host 